for this WBA version of the world featherweight title in this sizzling atmosphere. And straight away, Lee Wood gets on the front foot. As Conlon noticeably starts in the orthodox start to flicks out that left jab. Accurate, leading left jab in the first 20 seconds of the contest for Michael Conlon. Well, Mike, that was one of the things that I was curious to see from the out offset. Who would hold the centre of the ring? Who would be the boss? And we've seen Lee Wood come straight out to the centre of the ring. Wood straight away on the front foot. The crowd roaring his every move forward. And that could be key because that was one of the feelings in the controversy a couple of weeks ago of Josh Taylor against Jack Catherall that maybe the crowd influenced the judges. Right hand to the body from Lee Wood, still on that front foot. Yeah, I think it was really important for Lee Wood to establish himself at the start of the first round, and he's certainly done that, backing up Conlon, landing a nice little combination, three, four punch combination around the body of Conlon. Great start for Lee Wood for me. And trying to hold his ground in the centre of the ring and switches to the south pole stance. Very accomplished in both stances throughout his career as an amateur. And a throw. Good right hand from Lee Wood. Best shot of the contest so far at the halfway stage of the opening round. That was a terrific shot. Right hand over the top there as he backs up Conlon. He's on him again. Conlon's a bit shocked here on his back foot. And I think he's felt the power of Lee Wood. And I think the respect's there. Yeah, absolutely. The big question mark was, how good is Michael Conlon? He showed loads of promise, Ireland's most successful amateur. But this is his real step up. He would have been tested. Looked unbelievable in his last contest against Zoukan. He's trying to show Conlon that he's the boss, holding the centre of the ring. Conlon's got his foot on the outside of Lee Woods, so looking for that straight left down the body of Wood, who fires back with a right hand of his own to the body of Conlon. Conlon has had success in his career with body shots, finishing fights with body shots. The straight low once or twice as well, and has lost points for low blows in his career so far. I'm intrigued to see the work that's done when no shots are being thrown. Lots of feints, oh, big wide left hand from Conlon. And Just he would take the sting out of it. The Conlon corner leap to their feet. Sure, and he got the knockdown. Oh, it's like the Carl Frost nights all over again. And noticeably, during the minutes intermission, while we were watching the replays, the referee went around the canvas, clearing it up with a towel. Wood is on the front foot once again. Conlon leading by a single point on Tony Bellew's card into the 12th and final round. And Steve Gray warns Lee Wood for pushing as he was in the ascendancy. What a finish. The referee needs to leave it alone now. This is absolute epic battle, leave them to it, let them settle it like men in there because Lee Ward has got to try and press on the big finish and Conlon is now under the push a little bit. Yeah, incredible stuff. Lee Ward really forcing himself onto Conlon now. He needs to up the pace himself. We thought surely it couldn't happen, it did happen at the end of the 11th round and suddenly there's a very different to this contest. Two minutes to go in the 12th and final round. It was so eagerly anticipated and it's living up to the billing as they flail away in the centre of the ring. Lee Wood is doing exactly what he needed to do, what I was asking him to do, and he's going for broke and he's having success. It's over! It's all over. After a minute and 20 seconds,